Good morning, folks. We've got a flurry of awesome stories to hit today with the focus on geomagnetic excursions. The AGU fall meeting detailed almost all of them. We've got solar and weather news as well, but we're starting at spaceweathernews.com, and there are little surface pops and motions just south of the equator, but all in all, still a calm day. We still have the plasma filaments dancing around as well. Right now, solar flaring is low, solar wind is quiet, but we need to address NASA's Enlil spiral. It shows a solid CME coming at Earth, and the thing is, there isn't one. Yes, we had small pops on the surface, but none left the corona. Both SOHO and stereo satellites are without a big CME heading our way, which is why I do 100% recommend NOAA's Enlil spiral. They have a great deal more care in it. Speaking of solar events, the official geoelectric hazard map is updated again, with surprisingly low risk out west of the large metro areas, and also a good confirmation that surface impedance, the solid earth, is a major factor in geomagnetically induced currents. Let's take a peek next at the USA here as the low nestled near Texas is heading north today. Ice storms, rain, snow. Some areas likely to see all three, actually. Folks, to lead into the magnetic excursion stories, we've been tracking lightning since noting a surplus of Earth upward discharge events. This is expected as the weakening magnetic field lets in more energy to the atmosphere and the crust at the boundary layers. We recently got confirmation of record lightning events in the Arctic as well, and today we find that December cold can't keep away the lightning in Newfoundland. Second lightning storm in a week, and definitive upward Earth discharge is there. Three of the top sections on this topic at the AGU fall meeting nailed down and confirmed the Gothenburg excursion, Lake Mungo, Mono Lake, Le Champ, and the Vostok Greenland event. They also get Helena Pali, the half-cycle event 18,000 years ago. It's a confirmation of not only their events, but their cyclic nature, utterly important as the field has begun to weaken again now. One of the entries has a chart with declination, inclination, and a short bit of paleo-intensity field marks. Let's zoom up top there. On the right, it does begin after Gothenburg, so it's not on this chart. But what we'll just call Noah's half-cycle event 6,000 years ago for now is on there. And then we look to the left. That's heading into the last thousand years. And folks, we know that the acceleration and weakening of Earth's field the last 150 years dwarfs everything on this chart. We're heading basically straight down on this curve and into the next excursion. Now folks, the longer magnetic cycle event is the full cron reversal. They're not on the 12,000 year cycle, but they're coming only every few hundred thousand years. Range on the last one is as low as 13 years for the full reversal to have taken place, but now they think perhaps as long as 380 years if you neglect the internal dynamics. If that seems like a silly thing to do, you're right which is why they came down with the longer event. But the biggest story out of the AGU this year, a shift in the sediment before and after that last full cron reversal, slow deposition before, the slow working of wind and water and tectonics, but then the magnetic reversal, liquefaction, seismic activity, rapid sedimentation, and glass microtectites. I had to reread it when I saw it. The magnetic reversal brought quakes, rapid sedimentation, perhaps from the great waves, and pieces of glass, presumably from the micronova shell release and condensation of silicon and oxygen into sand and glass as it came to Earth. That's pretty much the catastrophe summed up in one coring. We'll try to get part three of the next disaster series out to you tonight. If not, it'll be coming to you tomorrow on the first. Happy New Year, everyone. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.